Okay, I am finally done with the rows of this blanket and now I'm gonna work on the border. And I'm gonna show you, this is the side that I carried the yarn up the sides. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm working my single crochet around this edge here. Got my yarn tangled up. And all I'm doing um, is I'm putting about, oh gosh, about two single crochets per row, all right? So I'm right here now. So I'm gonna make sure that I go around these two pieces of yarn that are carried. And I'm gonna go right in between here, the star stitch, and you just kinda of ease your stitches along the side. Be nice if I get it through all the loops. And then right here, I'm gonna go again. So about two stitches per row. And you can just make sure that you have all of your yarn pieces. Now here I have two more yarn pieces. So I'm gonna, my next spot, I'm gonna go into here. And I'm just working a single crochet. This is gonna be like my foundation row that I'm gonna work with. And all I'm doing is working around, and this one I'm gonna maybe do about three, I guess, per on this row. There we go. And I'm gonna go right in this one here. And the next one. And just keep working around that those yarn pieces and easing your stitches around you don't want to get too close and you don't want to be too far apart either but this doing the single crochet row provides a nice little row of foundation stitches to build the rest of my um, border on so here we go and I'm going to stop in a minute here so you can kind of see how it's starting to look There we go, and I think I can place one here. And you won't even really be able to notice the yarn that you've carried up the side. So let's take a look here. So this is, it may not look like much right now, but you really, you cannot see the yarn that's been carried up the side. And here's my yarn pieces. So I didn't have to weave in all of this yarn. I'm just going to crochet over the top of them and I want to make sure that I have a nice crochet border that is a nice foundation for whatever else I haven't decided yet for whatever else I'm going to do when I uh, work the, th the single crochets I make sure in the corner stitch what I have not done yet um, I gotta move this a little bit because this is my starting stitch here there we go I got stuck on the edge um, when I get to this spot here, I'm gonna each corner, I'll do three single crochet, which will help ease this, ease this around the corner nicely and lay flat. And then I'll do a slip stitch back into that first stitch where I started. And then I'll be ready for row two. So this is how you do your foundational border here, your single crochet, and then you crochet over your yarn that you carried up the side. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to um, work round four. One, round one was a single crochet round. The next one was a single crochet. Then the third round was these V stitches. And then now we're gonna do the fan stitches. We're gonna start to create like an arch. And then we have, these are just double crochet stitches here and chain stitches and then single crochet and chain stitches here. Okay, so let's work on that here. Let me just adjust my light. It seems a little bit almost too bright maybe. Like it might be reflecting. So we're gonna um, do a double crochet and that next V stitch and a chain one and a double crochet and then another double crochet and a chain one and a double crochet. Okay, I'm gonna pull up a loop. This is what this looks like so far. All right, and so you can see this kind of just stands up straight. But the side where we have the single crochet stitches, that gets pulled down because of those single crochet. So that's why the other V stitch we're gonna work over here, we're gonna work a single crochet and a chain one and a single crochet. Let me just show you again. So now, see how now I said it turns into a little arched fan? So that's a real simple way to do that. And we just do it along the whole side. And so I have two V stitches left before my corner stitch here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and work. And all we do is um, alternate. We're going to do our double crochet stitches now. So it's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then we repeat that. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And you want to end up with a single crochet on both sides here of the corner stitch. The single You want to work that single crochet, um, chain one, single crochet here. You want to end up, so you want to have an odd number of V stitches um, on each side and each end and, and be able to, you're going to start the end um, with a single crochet uh, stitch pattern and then end the row. So it needs to be an odd number of V stitches. So we're going to do our single crochet. And I have a trick for you in case you end up with even ones. And you may prefer the even too. So no fret. If after this, I'll show you that. So we did the single crochet. Now inside of here, we're going to work what we did in this fan stitch. The, did I? I'm looking at this here. Yes, I did do it right. <laughs> I did do the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and double crochet, chain one, double crochet. For a second, I thought maybe I didn't. So we are going to work two of these stitch patterns inside of this corner. Okay, so here we go. So it's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and we repeat it. There's one. Okay, now what we just did, we're going to repeat again. So a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet, and one more time. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So this corner looks very nice on the end. And now what we're going to do is in this first V stitch right here, we're going to work that single crochet. So it's a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. And then we just continue on with our pattern. In this one here, we do our double crochet, chain one, double crochet, oopsies, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then our single crochet. Now I'm gonna stop here in a second there we go. So this is the pattern you follow all the way, the way around and then in each corner you do this stitch pattern so it becomes like a fan. And then we're going to make this fancy yet at the end. But this is this is a pretty border even if you just stopped here. This would be pretty. Now if you happen to um, either prefer this look, uh, this next look I'm going to show you, or let's say that you have, um, I, on this blanket I purposely had one side um, where I had even stitches because I, I wanted to show the difference and how it would look. Um, and I was kind of using this blanket as border as an experiment. <laughs> so the odd number of stitches, you would start over on this end. Over here on this end, you would start with your single crochet. And then you alternate, or you know, your um, I should say your single crochet stitch, then you alternate in your double crochet set single all the way, all the way over until you get to here. So that, then you'd end with your single crochet. Now let's say that you did an even number of stitches. Now I gotta find it here. Um, so what I did is I counted and so I had 48 stitches. I ended up with 48 stitches of double double crochet V stitch sets across. Okay so that's an even number. So what I've done is in the 24th and 25th stitch I did the double crochet stitches. So it's like a double fan. And then I put the two single crochets on each end of it. You see what I did there? Because then I ended up like I should with my single crochet at the end. So I'm going to turn my, and I gotta find them again, here we go. So I'm gonna turn, when I do my, cause I am gonna do a next round. I'm going to end up, um, doing something here to make it arch up even more on this in between the two of them to make it really unique. So we'd have that in the middle and I actually think it's gonna be kind of cool with just having that arch on one of the edges and not, um, not around the whole thing. So if you have an even number, 
you will want to add in the middle, this is the 24th V-stitch. So this is the middle V-stitch. So that middle one and the next one, you will want to do the fan stitch and then continue on with your single crochet set and then you're alternating because then you will end up correctly because I, you know, certainly I think we would want all four corners to match as we're working on this, okay? So stay tuned and I'm going to show you the next round as soon as I get that one figured out. I'm making this up as I go along. Okay, do you remember when I had talked about having one of the edges um, even? So I can show you like how if you had an even um, number of V-stitches and you, I wanted you to be able to come out with the correct corner, number of corner V-stitches so that you could make this nice rounded area. Um, all of my other sides that I've had, I've had an odd number of the V-stitches so that it comes out perfectly between the fan stitch and then the single crochet stitches. So this here, in order to have an even one come out, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I needed to do something special in the middle of it, which I think makes it really pretty and unique. Otherwise, the rest of the border, you know, just looks, I mean, it's beautiful, it's fine. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, as you can see here, it takes five rounds to get this done. And um, this is the border. And so then this here, what I had was those V-stitches um, that I did the double crochet fan stitches with in the previous row. So here's what I turned them into. So I'm going to actually take this out. I wanted to make, I, I've done a, a few different designs to try and figure out which one I like best. And this was the one that I liked best. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I did. So I did the normal, um, well, okay, I'll take, I'll go a little bit further here. All right, so from here over, this is the normal border, what I had been doing. So here is our um, previous row, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So I'm gonna yarn over and I'm gonna do a double crochet and a chain one and a double crochet, just a V-stitch in there, right? Okay, and then here I've come to my two sections of the fan stitches right next to each other with no single crochet in the middle. That's what's missing, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'll single crochet in that first double crochet, and then I'll single crochet in the chain one space, and then in the space that's between the two double crochets of the previous row, I'm just going to work two double crochets. There's one, there's two. And then in the space, this is actually two double crochets and then a chain space in the middle. So right there in that space, I'm going to work two more double crochet. So it's really easier to achieve than it may look. I hope it doesn't look hard. Okay, then here is a space that's between the two sets of double crochet, chain one, double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So here's that space that's between those two sets of the same thing. In this space, I'm going to work a two double crochet. And then that picot stitch, so it's chain three, one, two, three, and then I single crochet, or I should say I slip stitch back down into here, that first chain space area. And then I'm gonna do two more double crochet. Okay, and then over here in that chain space, I'll do two double crochet. So we're gonna do everything on this other side over here that we did leading up to this area. And then in between those two double crochet, I'll do a two double crochet. And then a single crochet in the chain one space. And a single crochet in the last double crochet. And now we can just carry on with our pattern where I had been doing a double crochet between the single crochet stitches and the right in that chain stitch space, chain one and a double crochet that's just a V-stitch. And then 
in the first double crochet space, I'm going to do a single crochet. Oops, and then a single crochet in the chain space. And then in between the two double crochets, I'm going to work the two double crochets. And a picot stitch, two, three, and then back into those stitches, slip stitch, and yarn over and two more double crochet. Okay, and then we're back down to a single crochet in that chain one space, and a single crochet in the double crochet space. And we just we just keep doing that pattern. But let me lay this out again. So this is how it looks different um, because you know here we, we go down and make the it, that single crochet helps create that arch looking that archway and then by just using some double crochets we're actually kind of able to make like a little crown area um, so this is how if you have an even board, number of V stitches in your border you can add a nice little element here in the middle of your border this is I had 48 uh, V stitches and so then I this was stitch 24 V stitch 24 and this was V stitch 25 so it's in the middle of it so I kind of like made those into one and then I had continued on with my arching of the pattern um, so that I could end up correctly on the other end here and so this is how it looks without any fancy stitches on the end okay um, I still think this is this is this itself would be a very pretty border for this blanket, um, and then this here is just a little bit fancier. This is the other side, and as soon as I get over to the other side, I'm going to show you how to do um, the stitches around here too. They're very simple, very not too much different, just a little bit of a different alteration um, than what we've been doing. But again, it's a nice, nice, pretty um, stitch pattern, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. Let's work the border. So we're just going to show you how I'm working just a few stitches up to the corner, doing a double crochet, chain one double crochet in the chain one space that's in between the single crochet. And then we go over to the first double crochet of the fan stitch and do a single crochet. Sometimes you got to really jam it in there. It's okay. And then a single crochet in the chain one space. And then in the space that's between the two double crochet, we're going to do two double crochet, a peacoat, and two double crochet. There's three chains. We're gonna slip stitch back into that first area. And then two double crochet. And then we're gonna repeat what we just did. But I have one more single crochet in the chain one space. And then a single crochet on top of that last double crochet. But then we repeat. So a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then a single crochet in the double crochet space. And a single crochet in the chain one space. And then a two double crochet. And a peacoat and a slip stitch back into the top bottom and then two double crochet and then a chain a single crochet in the chain one and a single crochet in the double crochet space and then here is that previous row single crochet chain one single crochet so we're going to do our double crochet V stitch which is our double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then here's our corner stitches. And so what we're gonna do is a single crochet here, single crochet in the chain one space, and another single crochet in the next double crochet, and a single crochet in the next one, and a single crochet in the chain one space. So now if we look, so we have our double crochet, chain one space, double crochet, chain one space, double crochet, chain one space. Now we should be, I'm just gonna look to make sure I'm right, yeah. 
before. This is the middle. This is its space, because remember we had those two sets of the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. That is in the middle right here. We've just finished that half, because you have the same stitches on the other side here. So in this, in between these two double crochet right here, we're going to just simply work two double crochet and our peacoat stitch and two double crochet. So we've been doing that all along. So that's like a nice, it's just a nice repeating pattern that you've been used to doing. So I'm gonna do my peacoat, one, two, three chain stitches, slip stitch back into the bottom there, and then our two double crochet. One, two. And then we're gonna continue on with our single crochets in the chain one space, and the double crochet, and the double crochet space, and then there's a chain one space, and a double crochet space. And so now we're up to our single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and we work our double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now we're just continuing on with our normal pattern that we've been working. So, and then we single crochet into that first double crochet stitch, just like we had been leading up to the corner. And I'll show you how this looks in just a minute. And then we have our two double crochet in our peacoat and our two double crochet. So here's a second and then one, two, three, slip stitch and then double crochet and another double crochet and then a single crochet and one more single crochet and then I'll show you. And this corner, let me just lay it flat because it gets all crunched up for me holding it. It's done. And there's the border. So it was, for me, it was, you know, just all you're doing is single crocheting around here with your double crochet in the center there and your peacoat stitch to bring that end to a really nice, lovely point. And then leading up to it, you have your um, peacoat stitches here. And so this is how it would look um, leading up to it. And you got your lovely corner. And then here is it without any peacoat stitches. Um, I still think that this is a lovely finish, even if we just went this far. Um, it's a really lovely finish. So I'm going to finish up my blanket here, and um, I will get the pattern posted on my website. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.